Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the video. I'm talking kind of quiet because it's about 4.30 in the morning. Sam's still asleep. I'm on my way to Shadow, coaching classes at my gym across the dark side. Um, and so I'm going to be shadowing the 5.30 a.m. class. I'm going to be taking the 6.30 class. So just waking up early, getting some coffee in beforehand. Got this mug from CrossFit Chikarhu when I went and visited in Austin, Texas. Um, I like drinking before I work out or coaching. I like drinking out of this one because it feels like it puts me in the mood to coach. But um, yeah, just excited to get a good old fashioned video out to you guys. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay guys, so we're now at the gym. I was talking to them earlier when you were sleeping. Yeah, I was sleeping away. Um, so I did the 5.30 a.m. shadow class. Shadow that class, it was nice. I got to see everyone die from the workout. And Before then I got to uh, immediately go into the workout. So I don't necessarily know how I feel about that. I think I would prefer to not do that. But, you know, whatever, it is what it is. I got to see people and their scores um, and it didn't matter because it didn't change my workout. <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever. So Tuesdays is usually like our moving day, so it's usually either like a 20 minute AMRAP or like today it was three minutes of work, one minute rest, five rounds. So it ends up being about 20 minutes of work. Yeah. Five rounds, there was a buy-in of a 40 foot handstand walk, 120 foot bear crawl, either or. Either or. Um, and then you did, did you do 20 feet? Um, I worked for about a minute um, on handstand walks because I'm trying to get them. I can get like a few steps and then it's like, a long handstand, a long handstand, a few steps. So I just worked for like one minute on handstand walks and then I went into the workout, which was 10 pull-ups or 10 chest bar, I did chest bar, and then 10 burpees to a target. For the workout, I just wanted to make sure I kept moving. That was one of the hopes that I had. Um, but I also um, want to, like now that I'm like in this coaching role, like I want to make sure that I know how to do the movements that I'm gonna ask people to do. Yeah. Um, and so I switched each round between butterfly and kipping. So I did butterfly chest to bar, burpees, and then kipping chest to bar and burpees. It was weird to see you do kipping. It was weird doing kipping. Because you always I, butterfly. I never do them anymore. And it was like a good like lesson learned. Like, okay, yeah, I, I, it was kind of awkward at first. I don't think, I mean, it got a little better, but it was definitely awkward. I didn't feel like I was right on. My bar was a little bit shorter than I'm used to. Uh -huh. And so my feet kept like scraping the bottom, which was like messing up my rhythm and stuff. I don't have stuff. that problem. Yeah. Um, but it, it was a good workout. I was, I was happy with it. Yeah, and a little bit of accessory work. Yeah, yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll talk about accessory work and how it fits into my new life shortly. But before we do that, here's a little video montage of the workout we just did. <laughs> 15 seconds? Yeah. Your turn. Okay, go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, nice, Lucas. That's kind of like the same, same idea as the next. Oh, there you go. You can do it. In some ways that's easier because you're pushing. I don't know. It helps you keep your trunk a little bit tighter because you have to. Twenty? The first five, I was kind of uh, wobbly. Sure, sure. <sighs> Good. 
Oh yeah. Never. <laughs> okay, so it's been a couple hours since that last talking session. Um, I went to work, got off work, came back to the gym where I am now talking to you guys, gonna make this video. Um, and by the name of it, I think, I think I'm gonna name it something like my new goal again. Ha <laughs> ha, silly John, you're always switching your goals. Um, but this one I'm really ex excited about and it comes out of a recent change in my life. I recently got my CrossFit level one, which means I'm now able to coach at my gym, which I am so stoked about. It is something that I kind of wanted to do forever for a long time, but never felt like I was the right person to do it. And then I just got to a point where I didn't want that to be the reason why I don't do things because I'm afraid I might not be the right person for it. Like, let's just try, you know? So now that I'm this coach and now that I've been like shadowing these classes, um, I have been thinking a lot about what I would want out of people who are coached by me. Like if, if I can get them to feel something or think something or leave with something, what would it be? And that it's that fitness is for everyone and that everyone can attain it. Um, and that you don't have to be the elite of the elite of the elite to feel good, to look good, to be proud of the work that you're putting in. So I have this new goal. It's my new fitness goal that I'm really excited about. And, and it's something that I'm not just doing to do to like, prove that to the haters or anything, but it's because it's something that I'm, I care about. And I would love for everyone to feel empowered to do this too. So my new goal is I want to see how fit, how good looking, like body, like aesthetically, can I get off of one workout a day, specifically one CrossFit workout a day, some accessory work, Nothing crazy, not like an additional program or anything like that, but just like, hey, I'm trying to get um, ring muscle ups, for example. I've gotten one before, strict. Um, I've gotten them a couple before, but I've seemed to kind of have forgotten it, and it's like, it depends on it being a good day. So it's something that I wanna like lock in for sure. So lately I've just been doing like some like false grip pull ups, um, some ring rows to like the, my chest, working on some dips, working on the transition, so that when I jump up on the rings, I know, okay, I've got a strict muscle up because I've put in the work for it. So just working on like accessory movements is another thing that I wanna include off of my one hour a day. And the last one is to just not be like a idiot when it comes to nutrition and actually have it somewhat dialed in. I believe heavily um, in the 80-20 rule of you know being clean or not, you know, being on track for most of the time and still allowing yourself some um, cheats, if you will, or some treats or whatever. Um, and so just to be a lot more dialed in and if I know a decision, like if I know it's either this decision or this decision, I should probably choose this one. Let's go this one for now. And every once in a while I'll go with the pizza, Chipotle, Taco Bell. You know, that's never gonna like leave my diet forever per se. But I don't know, I'm really excited about it. And I think that I'm excited about it because it's something that everyone can do. You can get an hour in your day to work out. You can spend 15 extra minutes before, after, three times a week um, on a specific skill that you wanna get better at. Maybe double unders, muscle ups, toes to bar, kipping. And you can make smart choices in the kitchen. And I think that one, you're gonna get fitter by um, what you're doing, by the exercises, by the training. But you're also gonna get healthier with the diet and you're gonna lose body fat, um, you're gonna gain muscle, it's gonna be awesome, it's all the things that people want by buying supplements and fit teas and fat burners, but it's just gained through hard work instead. I'm really excited about it. That's my new goal again, is coming from a heart of what do I wish everyone knew that they could attain and what do they leave with is that fitness and health is attainable and I'm going to show you it is by my actions and by what I do. And I'm gonna do it as well. Does that make sense? <laughs>